everyone. This is Don Copy. Thank you for joining us uh, for session three of our CDT prep class. Uh, Suchi Daniels is going to be our presenter again. I also have with me here uh, Chip Hayward. He's going to be uh, a color commentator uh, helping uh, Suchi along. Um, Suchi, I'm going to be giving you control. a shorter session than the last one. Um, I'm not sure how to advance the slides. <laughs> so, um, Just click them. Pardon me? Just click them? Okay. So we're uh, going to review session three, the design process, project delivery, and this is the project delivery education program. And I'm going to just quick click through. What we've got is about 12 percent of the exam is this session. And you know you're going to get some AIA CEUs. So the learning objectives. So what we're going to do, our learning, excuse me, learning objectives, we're going to cover um, converting the owner's program into reality. We're going to define quality and how it's established. We're going to look at considerations that influence design. We're going to talk about life cycle costs and value analysis. And finally, product evaluation considerations. And the next slide will be an outline of this session. And so the stage that we're in is design. And I'm sure you remember that. Um, the, the project stage uh, cycle wheel and this particular component will be designed. So we're going to talk about schematic design, design development, quality assurance. Uh, we're going to talk about the difference between quality assurance and quality control, procedures to control variables, cost estimating, uh, life cycle costs, decision making, design considerations, and product evaluation. Get this to click forward. Okay, so we talked about the facility life cycle. We've got highlighted here where we're at. And AIA, in their contracts, they define design as having three phases. The phases in AIA are schematic design, design development, and construction documents. So in this session, we're going to mainly focus on the first two. We're going to talk about the dual nature of design, the fact that there is aesthetic design and technical design. Um, we're going to talk about good looks and performance. And Chip, I don't know if you want to talk about your Ferrari example um, here, but you're welcome to. But we're, we're going to talk about how really what we do is, is an all-encompassing process. And it's a value of function, commodity, and utility. And then we've got here defined the definitions of aesthetic design versus technical design. Okay, schematic design documentation. Uh, this slide has a plus sign, and if you recall, any slide with a plus sign is something uh, where there's information in red and highlighted that you want to be familiar with for the exam. And here, what we're going to talk about schematic design is moving from a conceptual design sketch and concept into something a little bit more concrete. And as part of this phase, we're going to include preliminary project descriptions, PPD. That is a term you need to be familiar with. We're also going to talk about 
probable cost at this point and what type of, of method would be best for determining cost at this stage of the facility process. So schematic design, going to review some elements of preliminary project descriptions. Their detailed descriptions of products and systems. They may include performance criteria. And I think the, the key component here is that this is going to be based on uniformat. And in your resource guide, it does go into some uh, more information on uniformat, which you can read uh, in that reference. Okay, so schematic design, descriptive. We're going to talk about the differences between descriptive, performance, and criteria. Again, a plus sign. Good examples here, uh, a descriptive description of the apple. Uh, we're talking about the actual physical size, the color, and what, you, what it's capable of being used for performance much more simple. You want an apple that tastes great and the criteria. And under criteria, this is being uh, determined by the majority of a panel of five USDA certified apple tasting experts. So the criteria is more of a, a I guess, a reference standard. So probable cost in this state. So we're going to look at what unit of measure is going to be the most appropriate. And in this case, there will be square footage costs. The other consideration in this in terms of cost is assemblies and systems. And again, uniformat. The types of questions you get will, will say that uh, you're in such and such a phase of the project which would be more appropriate to use, an outline spec or uniformat. Um, they'll, they'll give you some examples. So again, your questions are going to be more applied to what phase you're in and then what format you might use. So the cost estimate should enable participants to identify problem areas and propose solutions. And there's a higher contingency at this point. We're still pretty early in the game. So it might be 20% at this point. Design development documentation. What's going to be involved is the schematic design becomes more detailed. We're going to have more precise and specific drawings. There will be more physical or electronic models. And outline specs, uh, again, the plus sign and highlighted, they're developed, often developed as part of the uh, design development phase. And again, regardless um, of what we do in the, our actual work life, this is really the process that CDT is referring to, is that they do include this outline specification. Uh, phase as part of design development. 